In this video I'll show you how to simulate fog using the Z-Depth and the new compositing feature in Octane 2021. So let's start setting up the AOV nodes we need. So we can node 3 and then we need to switch from classic render passes to render AOV node graph and select the node. For the scope we need Z depth, so let's add it. We'll need the environment, and that's really whole uh, because the the beauty pass it's already available. Let's create our composition. So octane composite and quick add node three, and here we select the new node we just created, comp, and add a composite AOV output. We're going to populate the layers soon. First, let's adjust our Z-Depth. Uh, that's a good starting point, but, you know, I prefer to have something that covers the whole image depth. So yeah, probably something like that should work. Let's see, 25. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty much what uh, what we need. Let me disable the um, render region. I don't want to stress my my GPUs. Now we're pretty much ready. I need to add another input here and I'm starting with the beauty uh, let's switch to AOV output 1 which is you know this one that I'm using and here I'm going to add Z depth so let's look for Z depth. Here it is. Now let's set the blending mode from normal to screen, and we will get this. Don't worry about you know this kind of uh, artifacts you can see. What we need to add now it's a map range AOV output. We're going to put it exactly here. And now we can control uh, the fog using those values. We can control the extension of the fog. We can make it more intense, extend it, and so on. You can experiment with those values uh, until you find something that works for you. You can also change the global opacity of the fog and the color. I've started working with this scene uh, with the alpha channel option in the kernel set to off. Now if we turn it on we will get something really different. In this case we'll need to add a new input layer and move those layers up so to free this position here and then what I'm going to do is to add an environment here it is as you may notice now the sky uh, the environment is not affected by fog that happens because our ZDAP now is you know is using an alpha to solve this I'm going to precompose uh, a white background in the Z-Depth. So to do that what I need is to add another composite AOV output. I only need two inputs in this case. And yeah, let's attach this here for now so we can see the result of this uh, composition only. So I'm going to 
attach those nodes here in layer 2. Let's switch to AOV output 1 again so I can see you know the result of this composition and um, yeah let's set the color multiplier back to perfect white and the opacity to 1. So what I need to do now is to add a white background here so let's add a new composite AOV output, let's move it up a little bit and here I'm going to add a color AOV output well maybe it's not even needed let's let's try um, let's change this from screen to normal no yeah it's absolutely needed so let's uh, attach it here so now we have a white background and uh, you know the the Z depth uh, in front of it so now we have the same result we had when the alpha channel option was off in the kernel settings so now I really want to use the new pre-composited uh, ZDAPT buffer uh, created. So let's attach this back here. And instead of this, which I'm going to delete, I want to use this. I can't attach this directly here, as you can see. I need a new composite AOV output layer and now I can you know attach it to this input. Now all we have to do is to change the blending mode from normal to screen and once again we can control the fog in real time. The new real time compositing feature in Octane 2021 it's really powerful and opens for some exciting new possibilities. New nodes and filters will be added in the future so Stay tuned and enjoy Octane. Cheers!